right what's going on guys it's Jeff. so i've wanted to do one of these videos for a while but i've just been I've, there's just been so much shit going on with everything uh so a huge part of everything that i did a lot of the time was i explained a lot of the things that were happening and going on in my personal life uh, and before i didn't really have you know much consequence to it because it was just like i was living at my grandparents house and there really wasn't anything that i had to worry about but then you know obviously it got to the point to where you know i ended up getting this house and a girlfriend and dogs and just mouths to feed like actual responsibility being an adult and stuff like that and as you guys know back in my grandparents house there was a whole bunch of stupid shit back then that i could do or uh, things that could happen on youtube that definitely can't fly now <laughs> so over time of me you know being in my own house and everything and having to worry about uh, you know protecting everything and making sure people aren't doing weird shit to my house because you guys know back in my grandparents house or people like swatting and people throwing shit at the house TPing my yard all that shit so if there were people that would go and do that kind of shit to a house that has old people in it my grandparents uh, honestly dude i wasn't taking any chances so i did everything in my power when i moved here i have a lot of things in place to try to you know minimize anything that could possibly happen so a lot of the time before i was like i was making videos walking outside and shit showing everything around me like you talk to youtubers and streamers and shit like that a lot of these guys don't even want to show where they live anymore they don't want to show anywhere around them they don't want to name things they don't want to talk about where they eat so because of how everything is at the moment with not being able to explain how things are going in my personal life as far as a lot of detail it's been difficult for me to talk about a lot of the stupid shit that goes on so i just kind of got used to being uh like locked up you know i kind of got used to being uh, more conservative with a lot of the information that i put out and uh, shit like that and that kind of took away from a lot of the stuff that i would usually talk about so uh, i'm gonna try to you know put some stuff back in there and just be you know a little bit more free with it not think about you know every single little thing because that's just what i do a lot of the time i sit there and think about each and every single little thing that i could say like i was sitting here like dude i have a poland spring bottle i'm worried that people are gonna figure out where poland spring is sold just so they can find anywhere around me like, why do i have to worry about this kind of shit you know what i mean i'm like a little kid that ended up breaking one of his fucking toys but you don't want your parents to know because that shit costs money and then when they finally figured it out it's virtually it's basically the end of the fucking world <laughs> that's why you see these youtubers and streamers and shit just constantly moving people figure out where they are within a couple months they're gone out of that place going wherever they're going next so that's kind of been what's going on with everything also people have been asking where's moby and people were asking me to do challenge acceptance like hey could you go and sit on moby and play some games first of all it's not gonna to hear why first of all this is a fucking this isn't just a demonetization thing it's sitting on it guys it's a three foot fucking dildo am i even allowed to say dildo oh See, he's right here. I feel like I'm doing a Q&A with Moby. We should do a fucking q and I think I'm actually going to do a Q&A with my three-foot-tall toy. I, I, uh, see, the fact that I even have to think about this shit anymore is just annoying. Moby's there. Moby's fine. Uh, all of this shit. Uh, so... I might have to do a day in a life video, actually. I, if, I'm going to have to clean the house first because right now it's... Uh, yeah alexis and i are gearing up for her charity stream that's coming up soon and there's like a whole bunch of different uh donation goals and once it passes a certain amount certain things are going to be happening so it's a lot of, a lot of preparation she did that whole thing last year we raised over like i think it was eight thousand dollars or some crazy shit like that we didn't even expect that much so this year we're going to try to go bigger it's going to be a 24-hour stream people will be swapping out walking back and forth on the stream and stuff and just playing whatever it is they want to play so there's that uh as far as how i'm feeling about Fortnite at the moment as far as what games i'm going to play i have a lot of people going and say things to me all the time like uh people are really happy that i played a lot of call of duty and people were happy that i never really left call of duty and stuff and there was a long long period of time where i only literally only played call of duty and then i decided to go and put all these different games in the mix and stuff and at the moment there are a lot of different games but i've just been kind of weird recently just because i was trying to grind a whole bunch and stuff and a lot of people are thinking that i'm just going to be exclusively cod again that's not the case at all just right now that's what i'm doing at the moment i'm waiting for the update to come out i haven't even checked to see if i got my dark matter yet that whole thing was just annoying it also goes so much fucking deeper than that the customer service that i had to talk to and deal with i like dude you don't even understand if it weren't for security issues i would explain the shit that i was talking about with these guys like i, I can't believe the shit i i'm leaving it uh, as far as trying to get fortnite back in the mix i tried to play i played a game last night of fortnite and here's the thing whenever people hear fortnite i used to think that the game was ridiculously people just looked at it in a very very positive light but as time passed the game is only it hasn't even been out for like what two years or hasn't been this popular for even two years yet so many people hate it or so many people love it and it's just it is really annoying and polarizing thing to deal with as a content creator because i want to upload it at times and then i'm like well i have to 
to worry about people absolutely hating it. And then there are other times where even I don't want to play it, but I'm being asked to play it. You know what I mean? Fortnite is this uh, entity that is just so fucking huge that each and every single content creator, no matter what field you're in, has to contemplate whether or not they want this to be in their content or not. And for me... I don't really know. Uh, you guys already know how I am with Battle Royale games and shit. Like, I just... One mode that I played last night, you can go and check it out. Go and look at it on, like, the Fortnite tracker. I played one game. I think I got, like, 10 kills in the Team Brawl or whatever it's called. It's like a respawn mode, which I actually enjoyed. That was pretty fun. That was kind of how I would love Fortnite to be. I want to respawn. It just bothers me to no end whenever I get clapped by somebody on Fortnite. And I don't have an opportunity to try to do, like, a best of three. I, I don't have a chance to do a second fight with that specific individual. So I don't know if they're actually better than me. So I don't even feel like I can learn anything. I can't tell if I misplayed or they outplayed. And that goes for every BR. It's not even just Fortnite. It goes for uh, Blackout. It goes for PUBG. It goes for all of them. Just the nature of Battle Royale. I get really fucking annoyed because I was used to playing shit like, you know, Halo, Call of Duty, things like that where I was used to respawning and you could go over an entire game. And when I'm consistently dropping, you know, 20, 30 more kills than the other players on my team or the other team, I know I'm better or at least in this lobby, I am the best one. I never even know what the fuck is gonna happen with Battle Royale, and that might be the appealing part for a lot of people, but for me, I, I can't. I can't. It, fuck, it makes me so mad that I can't even enjoy myself the rest of the night. And that's another thing uh, about anger. A lot of people are like, oh, I missed it when... I don't fucking know. You had your... I don't know. Your hair was really, really shitty as if it changed too much. It really has it. <laughs> I miss when you had your unibrow or I miss when you had a fucking Amish beard and I miss all this other shit. Like, a lot of that stuff I could just kind of bypass. It's just a bunch of petty shit where people just hang on to and they just want to talk shit. That's fine. Whatever. But as far as anger, that's a genuine concern because a lot of people subscribe to me, uh, or at least some people's first impressions of me whenever they see my content is, this guy has a lot of videos where he's just fucking screaming like a maniac over video games. It's comedy. But back then, it was way easier for me to be angry, right? Now it's a little bit more difficult to be as angry as I was. And on top of that, I'm trying to imagine being as mad as I was and then having to be around other people. I don't want to take this whole video game stuff when I'm really angry about it, because this is what I do all day. I still just play video games all day literally every single chance that I can, I want to be playing a video game to some degree. Or at least be here watching other people playing video games. Like, my whole day, each and every single day, are still video games, as much as I possibly can. I don't want to get, like, so incredibly mad or play shit that's making me really fucking mad. It's a whole other thing if I'm just getting mad at it when I believe I'm actually good or at least watchable. I don't feel like I'm watchable on Fortnite. I don't. So when I get really mad at that game and I don't want to go and take all of that anger and energy and spread it across the house. You know what I mean? I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, I don't want to talk to him right now. He's really angry. I don't want anybody to feel like uncomfortable in my house. So obviously I still get mad. Obviously I still get angry. And also speaking of the angry shit, I might have to try to find an editor or something for these raid charges because this is what a lot of YouTubers and shit do now. They go and get their editors and go and put their videos together and all this other shit. I'm still out here one guy producing all of this. Everything that I possibly can. I make the thumbnails, I make the video, I make the recordings, I buy all this shit, I edit it all, I do everything that I can by myself besides, you know, some collaborations and shit like that, like with G Fuel or whatever, or Steel Series, sponsorship type of stuff. But even then, those are really minuscule. I get a lot of, uh, you know, offers all the time that I just simply won't take just because, obviously, I would have to specify that it was sponsored. There have been multiple situations where I was offered money to play a certain game and make a video on a certain game that I'm interested in, but I'm afraid to go and make that video and take that sponsorship I actually made videos on games where I was going to get paid to play them and I decided to not take the sponsorship and still upload that game without taking the payment all because there's just that huge negative connotation that comes with anything that has to do with a sponsorship people think that couldn't possibly be interested in something that you're promoting which is it, that's completely backwards. I feel like I'm venting right now, but there's just so much shit that goes through my head that I just don't even talk about half the time because it's just, honestly, a lot of it's just really stupid and there's really no point. But overall, just know that I want to give everything to everybody that I possibly can. I want to give the rages to everybody. I want to I want to do more things like Jeb Cafe and shit like that. I, I do want to do this kind of shit. It's just half the time with vlogs and stuff, you know, there's not really much going on in my day other than like typical housework or driving somewhere to buy and pick up food or some shit like that, you know what I mean? 
I mean? Like, nothing that I could sit there and vlog where other people are out here in the fucking hills doing backflips off of fucking... I'm living as close to a normal life as I can. So you guys have always known how I was with the vlogs, especially when FaZe and everybody was, like, really hopping on the whole vlog train years ago. I was never particularly good at vlogging. I would try to put a vlog in there every few days, and they were just like, I can do that more often, but I would need something to at least talk about. And honestly, a lot of the shit that I talk about, I just worry about leaking shit. So it's like, I need to just do it. Stop being scared of shit. Obviously not just put info out there, but just try to find a way around it to some degree. A lot of the things that go on in my head are stopped in their tracks a lot of the time just by what I think think people are going to do or say. I need to just, you know, do it like I did before. So I feel like this turned into a rant. I didn't really mean for it to be, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. Like people were asking me to react to the Mortal Kombat shit. I would love to react to it, but then it's got copyrighted music over top of it. It's probably going to get age restricted because it is MK, but I will be getting MK. And I'll most definitely react to all the fatalities and shit. Yeah, for sure. When the full game comes out. Moby's here though. Moby's fine. Moby didn't disappear. People were asking where he is as if I could just leave a fucking three foot tall thing in the background. Trust me, I miss all this stupid shit getting a bunch of dildos. I probably can't say that word. A whole bunch of stupid shit inside of the P.O. box and all that stuff. If I put Nami in this room with Moby here, she probably would have at least tried to eat at least one of the nuts off of this thing. Nami just destroys absolutely everything. That's why my whole room is still gated off because this dog, I'm just terrified of her destroying any cables or anything like that. But yeah, anyway, it's been Jeb, guys. Say bye, Moby. All right, close enough.